break it down, mastering the phrasal verb, break up. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be focusing on a very important phrasal verb in English, break up. Phrasal verbs can be tricky, but they are a vital part of conversational English. Don't worry though, we'll break it down together. The phrasal verb, break up, is usually used in two main contexts. Firstly, it can mean to end a relationship or marriage. For example, John and Mary decided to break up after five years of dating. Secondly, it can also mean to separate something into several parts. For example, can you break up the chocolate bar into pieces so we can share it? Now let's see how break up can be used in sentences in these common contexts. 1. Ending a relationship. 2. After several arguments, they decided it was best to break up. 3. My best friend just broke up with her boyfriend. 4. Separating something into parts. 5. We needed to break up the meeting into two parts due to its length. 6. The teacher asked us to break up into groups for the project. Now, it's your turn to practice. Try to use break up in a sentence for both contexts. Here are some suggestions. 1. Write a sentence about a celebrity couple who decided to break up. 2. Write a sentence about breaking up a chocolate bar. This is a great way to reinforce what you've learned. Don't be shy, practice makes perfect. And that's a wrap on the phrasal verb, break up. Remember, mastering phrasal verbs will make your English sound more fluent and natural. Keep practicing these common contexts for break up and you'll be a pro in no time. We hope you found this video helpful. Keep learning and we'll see you in the next one.